And welcome back to Anton Math. Now in this video we're going to learn about unit vectors and we're going to see a, a way to relate two particular and very special unit vectors to the component form we've been using so far with our vector operations. So first, what is a unit vector? And we call any vector of length 1 or of magnitude of 1 a unit vector. So unit vector just means that the magnitude of the vector is 1. A unit vector can point in any direction and we can have a unit vector pointing in, in any direction that we want uh, but what's important here is that to be a unit vector it needs to have a magnitude of 1. Now we have two very special unit vectors which we call i and j. i is the unit vector going in the positive horizontal direction so it's the vector 1, 0 and j is the unit vector going in the positive vertical direction so we say j is equal to 0, 1. Now these two vectors can be used to express any vector of two dimensions just as a sum of i and j. So if we have this vector v and let's say that v is equal to ab we can write v which is ab as the sum a times i plus b times j. Now let's take a look at this very quickly. Um, this could just comes from the fact that if we have this vector ab from our uh, addition operation we know this is the same thing as the vector a0 plus the vector 0 b isn't it? If I add these two vectors together I get a plus 0 for my horizontal component and 0 plus b for my vertical component so this sum is equal to a b. Now from scalar multiplication we know this is also equal to a times the vector 1 0 plus b times the vector 0, 1, isn't it? Uh, if I multiply a through to this vector here I get a0 which is what we had and if I multiply b through to the second vector I get 0, b and these are exactly the vectors that we just talked about. This first vector that I'm multiplying a to is the vector i and this second vector that I'm multiplying this b to is the vector j. So this is why we can write any vector in this form ai plus bj where we just take the horizontal and vertical components and turn them into scalars for those unit vectors i and j. So let's see an, some examples on how we can use this. Uh, first you may get a question like write the vector u which is 5 negative 8 in terms of i and j. Now this is this may seem like a very easy example and indeed it is a very easy example so this u by what our result we saw here for any a and b this is just equal to my horizontal component 5 times the unit vector i plus my vertical component negative 8 times the unit vector j so to write this with i and j all we have to do is write 5i minus 8j because of that definition we had for subtraction and that's it. So if you need to turn a vector that's already in component form into a vector in terms of the unit vectors i and j, you're just going to take those components. We have the horizontal component becomes the scalar for i and the vertical component becomes the scalar for j. Now let's take a look at one more example before we move on to the next video. Let's say you're asked to find 2u, negative 3u, the sum u plus v, and the difference 3u minus 4v given that u is equal to 2i and v is equal to 3i minus 2j. Now this is where this form comes in really very handy when you have these mixed expressions like this. Uh, for example 2u, this first one, this is just 2 times 2i. My vector here for u that we're given is just 2i and all I need to do now is multiply these scalars by those properties of scalar multiplication this is just 4i. Very similar thing with negative 3u this is just negative 3 times the ij form of u which is 2i so this is going to give me a negative 6i this is the vector negative 3u. Now for these sums we're just going to go ahead and plug in u plus v my u is 2i and I'm adding to that v which is 3i minus 2j oh, I'm missing some of my vector signs in the last one aren't I? 
this one right here. This is the vector i, not the complex number i. Now the way that the vectors work here, i and j, is I can add sums of i's together and sums of j's together, and i and j act kind of like qualifiers. Um, or another way to think of it is they act kind of like variables. If we were adding a, a mixed expression in x and y, we would group all the terms with x and add the coefficients together, and we'd group the terms with y and add the coefficients together. We're going to be doing the same thing here. 2i plus 3i is just 5 total vector i's, and then I have a minus 2j. Now I can't add i and j together without getting it back to component form and getting rid of the i's and j's altogether. Um, so this would be a final answer because this is the form in which the question is given. Now this last one, 3u minus 4v. I'm going to leave these scalars and I'm going to plug in for u and v. u is 2i, 2i. I have minus 4v, which is 3i minus 2j. And with all those operations, um, properties of operations, we know that when we're doing all these operations on vectors, they have all the same properties as real numbers. Or in this case, we can think of them as having the same properties as a variable and an expression. So 3 times 2i is, I have 6i and then I can distribute this 4, so I have minus 4 times 3, which is minus 12i, and I have minus 4 times minus 2, which is a positive 8j, so this is going to give me a total of negative 6i plus 8j. And we're done. We have this uh, difference now, 3u minus 4v in the ij form of the resultant vector. All right, and that's how we're going to use this. Now in the next video, we're going to relate this form to the magnitude and direction of the vector itself. And that helps us jump between magnitude and direction and the horizontal and vertical components in a way that we can solve a lot of real world problems um, that commonly come up. So we'll see you in the next video.